All right, guys, I am back. I know it's been a long time since I have posted, but I'll talk about the issues in another video on why I haven't posted. But I just wanted to do a quick video about practicing mallet percussion because I know lots of you percussionists um, need to practice mallet, uh, need mallet percussion for school and performances and everything and you want to be able to do that without having to spend $200 for a uh, usable glockenspiel to practice with my drums are echoing so much here but um, I'm just going to first off tell you how to make this then tell you how to practice and then mallets and everything else so to make these you can do different sizes different shapes whatever you need duct tape hockey tape scissors sharpies um car and cardboard pretty much so very little supplies i'd say it costs about twenty dollars to make um and then bigger ones are going to cost you more but you need a base of cardboard which you cover in duct tape and then you make each key the same size and then you figure out how much you want it to go down by and I did a uh, half a centimeter and then after that you cover them in duct tape label each one because we're beginners and you need the labeling and then practice so then underneath I have my xylophone which I just reversed the colors of tape and it, this one takes about one and a half to two hours to make and this one takes uh, three to four hours to make so just put on a TV show and go at it and then for mallets when you're just starting off you can use hockey tape and take the eraser and the metal part off of the pencil tape the pencil and then make a ball out of the hockey tape and cover that in hockey tape to secure it on and then there you go they're not they won't function for other things but they'll function for just playing that's for glockenspiel and I made a couple of those and they take about 15 minutes each to make or the other thing is you can invest and this is good for when you do get a glockenspiel if you are or your various mallet percussion instruments is invest in mallets these are the cheapest mallets they had and like my the local music store doesn't have the best selection of mallets but these were thirty dollars and then these were thirty eight dollars for xylophone and they are great for performances because you have the feel of playing with these mallets and if they're the ones you use at school like just make sure the ones that you're using at school are the same as the ones that you're using at home at least close you might have more variety at home but you still want to use these and then if you're making a bigger one your number one gonna need more supplies and number two gonna need more uh, thicker thicker pieces of cardboard and larger pieces of cardboard so the like with this one I made the keys out of uh, sorry out of cereal boxes and then I made the base out of a big cardboard box and then this one I just made out of a huge big cardboard box and um like for practicing you just use like you put this on your drums if you have drums or you put it on a table and you use um the books that you're using at school um the only thing is it doesn't have sound so you also wanna if you have practice rooms at your school you also want to take advantage of that and use the the time that you have with the actual instruments wisely so that you're you're using them because you're gonna need to use them I guess I don't I don't know but like you want to have that sound that you you want to have that sound so that you know what each note sounds like as well if you're working in orchestra or if you're working with anything that's a higher level than school band I'd suggest renting I'd suggest purchasing one because these aren't that level so depending on your playing level if you're a beginner these are gonna work perfect for you but if you're um, more advanced 
and you could try using a piano, you could try using all of these things, but take advantage of the time you get with the instruments in class or wherever and just use that. Alright guys, I will be back with another video soon, but um, tell me if you made these in the comments and bye.